Hey y'all, I'm Beth Scolden. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am taking you on a tour in my craft room. I've had a lot of requests for this, this type of video over the last year and I just haven't done it because my craft room is constantly evolving. It's always changing. I always have something going on and it's never where I want it to be to show you. And then it dawned on me, you know what? You guys don't come to me to see perfection. You come to, to me to see realism. You wanna see what it's really like. You wanna get behind and you want to see in, in all of its messiness or all of its glory, whatever. And so that's what you're gonna see today. You're gonna see my craft room less than perfect in a state of evolution right now. Couple things I want you to keep in mind. First of all, I repurpose a lot of things I get. So you're gonna see a lot of my organizational things in boxes. In fact, my very favorite organizational thing that I have going on right now I created from the mug series from Starbucks, the You Are Here series, the little boxes that those mugs come in. I love the color. I just slap some little vinyl stickers on it and boom, I have a system. So you're not gonna see a lot of perfectly organized, beautiful organization on this. If that's what you're looking for, this isn't the video for you. If you're looking for behind the scenes to see what I organize with, how I do it, what's in my thought process and why, then you're in the right spot. You're also gonna get to see the ugly too. I'm gonna show you in my craft room closet. I'm holding nothing back, y'all. You're gonna see it all. I hope that this inspires you and helps you feel good about being in your space and maybe helps you rethink some things about how you wanna organize. Sometimes we get caught up on not creating because we don't have the space that is inspiring or we want to get it perfect. That doesn't really always happen. This is real life. This is my craft room. This is where I create. This is where I spend the majority of my day because this is what I work out of. So I can't get real caught up on if it's perfectly organized. It's not always gonna be clean. I've kind of had to let that go and I've created a space that I find inspiring yet manageable as well. So I hope that you enjoy this walkthrough and I hope that you forgive me if the camera's moving in funky directions and that you find some inspiration and at least feel better about your space, knowing that perfection is not always the best way when you are working or trying to set up your craft room. Use what you have. Ooh, I spit, gross. I'm not gonna edit that out because you know what? It's totally real and it's on my table and I'm looking at the droplet of spit right now. I'm gonna clean that up. All right, guys. Have fun watching this. Questions or comments, leave them down below. And um, I will chat with you all later. Now, take the tour. Hello everyone, welcome to my craft room. This is the door heading in. And I thought it would just be best to start here. Off to the side, I have these industrial type um, shelf system. And on the very top, I keep things like my craft mats that I don't use often, splat boxes, as well as two poster boards that I take pictures of. Then I have all my art journaling supplies here, as well as some little mini albums I had finished, and you'll see those as I go around the corner. Dropping down to this one, I have this my sewing basket, which I rarely ever use. That's on the end, and the reason why I have it there is because that's what I see when I am working at my desk, so I want it to be kind of pretty. Then I have the family album I'm currently working on. Over here, I have some chalk couture things as well as a bow kit. Those things are going to hopefully be exiting my craft room in the next three to four months. I wanna get them done and out of the way. I have discovered that I no longer really am into chalking and I really am trying to fine tune my um, art and practice, which doesn't include those two things, so they're going to go away. Down here, I have my die cuts as well as my little cuddle bug, some old pictures that eventually I need to craft, and then I have a basket full of tape runners and non-liquid adhesive. On the bottom, I have some Primas as well as some... Um, of the resin pieces, buttons, mismatched mid type things that I use in crafts. Then over here I have um, tools and things that I use to alter jewelry or mixed media. This is a bag full of photo props that I use for Instagram pictures as well as pictures for companies. Then on the bottom I have two buckets that are full of pattern paper, sequins, and tags, and then these are full of my alphabets, my cut card stock, and then some items from my local craft store. 
And then rounding over here, I have my little um, record player that I absolutely love. I think it's so cute. I do have a collection of vinyls that's growing that I keep down there. And I have some art pieces on the back of the back here and I have a mirror uh, this was done by my friend Alex and then um, these are just some other uh, chalkboards and things like that and I did that piece another area for me to display some art that some friends have given me then I'll round now we're definitely heading more into the room over here, I'll go over these first, is what I see from my desk. So let me go kind of behind my desk. So it's really important that when I'm sitting at my desk, I feel visually inspired. And this is the best way that I can do that. Um, and believe it or not, it's not because of that that I see. It's because of the window. I love a lot of natural light. So I have my recliner there that my kids will come in and, and talk and sit on and also a little blanket because believe it or not I do get cold I watch Netflix on my TV because I no longer have cable at the top I have some pillows that I have altered and also have made some different um, things that I have created as far as um, just you know inspirational stuff and and the love and make pretty things I just like it I think it's pretty um, on this first one is where I have a lot of my paintbrushes, my sponges. These two are filled with little miss, little teeny tiny sequins and gems, things like that. Moving down, this is where I have my pins, my colored pencils, and so on and so forth. Over here in these bins, I have paper clips, gelatos, washi tape, some sponges and some deco foil. These boxes are actually from the um, You Are Here mugs from Starbucks. So I just repurposed these boxes. This is a repurposed box that I put um, two vinyl stickers on from my Tiffany's perfume that I bought about a year ago. It's the box that it came in. All these stickers are from Sunshine, what is it called? Just Add Sunshine, really great little vinyl sticker shop, my favorite. All right, and then as we move down here, again, another repurposed box. It holds all of my stickles, my Nouveau Drops, and my Christy Alley watercolor marker um, inks. This one holds all my sprays. Dilutions are on the top. Glimmer Mist on the bottom. I love this Kate Spade um, shoe box that I have. So I went ahead and utilized it with my Distress Oxides. Back here are my liquid adhesives that I use often, so I have them at my fingertips. In another cute little box that I really like. I actually like the bottom of that box better, but it's not showing. That's okay. This one as well. Really great box. So this is all my Christy Taylor. I don't know why I call her Christy Alley. I'm obsessed with Christy Alley, I guess. Christy Taylor alcohol inks. Moving down here are all of my close to my heart boxes that are filled up with different stamps from different stamp companies. I do have two stamp boxes that are empty because I know that I will fill them up. I recently have purged and I'm gonna to talk to you about that in just a minute. Then down here I have um, the four containers. The pink one has like my ATCs and jewelry stuff that I use. The green one has some paper, pattern paper that's beautiful, but I also can use for my gel press. The two ones on the bottom are empty. Again, I'm sure I'll be filling that up. Those are some inks from Close to My Heart. I haven't used them in a while. I do still have reinkers. I may end up getting rid of them. However, I do like that top piece because it has a lot of my reinkers from Catherine Pooler, which I do use. Also, the Close to My Heart reinkers are in there. My Ken Oliver watercolor inks are in there. So I utilize the top piece more than I do this, um, but I may change that up, I'm not sure. 
That is a binder with all my ATCs or spots that have ATCs. These are all my cards. And then that down there has my gems and things like that that I will occasionally add to layouts. Then moving on over here, some artwork that I absolutely adore. My scan and cut station is over here. When I need to use this, I simply turn, push this all the way to the end and then I turn this and pull it out so that my map can go okay over there. Um, I have my Alexa. Say hi, Alexa. And then I have my pencil sharpener. And then these bins right here are full of just there. I try to keep them kind of organized, but they're kind of organized chaos. This has my um, uh, envelopes and my card bases, as well as an alcohol thing that I can clean with, a lens cover thing that helps with, with keep my um, screens and things clean. This one has all my planner stuff in it. I don't really use a planner anymore, just occasionally. That's what I would use. This over here has my Bible stuff as well as some travel things, um, travel miscellaneous things that I want to put in a book, as well as just like this is <laughs> this is a um, uh, blows up my exercise ball that I really need to put out in my gym, but it's here for some reason because I used to keep it out here. This right here has mixed media stuff in it, um, a whole bunch of resin molds, things like that wood little pieces that I can paint and alter. This over here has what's left of my Renia foil paper as well as my origami books because that's one way that you can use it. This right here has art foamies and things like that. Um, this is going to turn into my gel press bin as well as this over here. I'm going to kind of utilize them both for gel press. This down here is my ranger bin. This right here is going to be utilized for gel press as well. I'm probably going to move this one on the end down here so that I can have this whole middle section for all gel press. But this has stuff from Canvas Core Brands from when I was on their design team, what's left of it. And then this has all my rest of my adhesive liquid and tape glue sticks, whatever is down there. Okay, so moving around over here, I have a piece that my family made, my kids made me, as well as my um, metal thing that I display my metals for when I run. And then right here, this is all ready to go on sale. I have a Facebook de-stash group um, open for like US people only. Everything gets shipped out flat rate boxes so it's easy and then this is all goes on sale and I sell it and then I mail it out. So that's what that's for. Not real pretty but it's life, right? In here, I'm not going to move it around too much, not because I'm ashamed to show you. It's because I have this right here and I don't want to have to move it out. I have my albums in there as well as some helpful books. Down here I have resin pieces, clay pieces. The top of that has my stamping platforms as well as my cutting tools. This is constantly getting used. I pull white paper from that, pattern paper from that all the time. So that's my most used. That's why it's sitting by my desk. This over here is another um, paper pack that I go to often. I actually need to put my cut card stock in there and clean this out. And then we come on over here to my desk, but I think I'm gonna get to my desk kind of at the end because I can sit down. But this over here is um, where I, I should be filming, but I've kind of gone to my desk because I've gotten lazy. But this is a great filming station. It has my Ken Oliver, um, you can put anything on that mat there. A real great cleanup and it, it looks real good on a screen with my, my um, camera holder. That goes everywhere with me. Um, I love my Archon. And then over here is like my paints, my Mod Podge, my scissors, some of my scissors. 
I have this labeled with the alphabet, numbers, more little bits and pieces of things I can find, that up there, same thing, more stuff I can just find miscellaneous things, my cutter. Then right here, this is where I keep the majority of my ink pads. You're like, why do you have shaving foam? Because I do do art with shaving foam, believe it or not. Then over on this one, I have punches. This is the heat gun that I use when I'm filming over here because it's white. So it looks good on screen. It's not as ugly as my other one that you still see because I still use it on screen. This has all of my ribbon. I have my um, Tim Holtz alcohol ink dabbers, things like that. I do have some planners in here as well. I have some brads over here. Haven't used a brad in forever, but that's okay. Then over here is my stamping things that I use to stamp with. I keep my Simon Hurley stuff down here. All of his stuff is down here. Um, I'll keep some of my bigger stamp sets over here, my uh, loose rubber over here, things like that are down here. And then I keep my make art stations, the little one and the big one is in here, as well as the foam pads that I stamp on. And this is all I can turn around in my desk and just pull this all out, which I love. I, I have it at my fingertips for a reason. These are things that I use all the time. This is my very messy gel press and apron set. Um, it's a mess. I know that it's not well organized, um, but it is what it is. And I do pull in here and out of here a lot. This is what I would consider my junk drawer. It has a lot of things in here that I wanna alter, or I even have pictures in here of the kids, things like that. This over here is my paint caddy. On the top, I have mostly plaid paint. This one, I have my Nuvo um, glitter gel, my Stickles glitter gel, Dilutions paint, some of my Dina Wakely sprays. And the only reason why they're there is because I have nowhere else for them. Then the bottom just has a hodgepodge of gesso, um, resin, pouring mediums, even though I don't really enjoy paint pouring. That's all down there. So moving along here, this is just some artwork that I have gotten in the mail. And then this is in here. I rarely, rarely get in here. Well, I should say that, but this actually has embossing powder. I have cut back on my embossing powder quite a great deal. Um, I have all my Brutus Monroe ones because I love them. I think that they are awesome. I have some Nuvo ones that were given to me because of a design team project. I really like those too. And then I have my glazes. I have a simple black one and then a clear one as well. I don't do color embossing with the exception of the glazes just because that's just not really my thing. I actually have recently gotten rid of those. And then up here is some more of that type stuff. Um, some chalk. I have pulled the chalk out occasionally. And then it's some ribbon and things like that up there. Down here, I have just some hodgepodge of yarn, some spray paint, things that the family would use. Again, more hodgepodge of stuff. Down here is pictures, puzzles, things like that. The puzzle I actually use in my art to create with. Then we'll go on over here to the um, the the, the the closet, which is a mess. Like this one right here doesn't look that bad, but I'm telling you, it's a mess. So I'll show you my mess, I'm okay with that. So over here, check this out, I told you, it is a mess. Holiday family decor, boxes to mail things with, backdrops for pictures and things like that. I have three, I actually have some more on order. Ribbon, tape, things to wrap presents with. That is a family keepsake that I've had since I'm a kid. Then I have back here a whole mess of wrapping paper for different seasons and holidays, okay? Up here at the top, I have an abundance of shake mix, protein mix, shake mixes, because I do love my protein powders and things like that. I'm gonna show you this in just a minute. We're gonna deal with the mess first. Then, dun dun dun, can't really see that. So let me open it up. 
Look at this. It gets worse. Up there, I have the kids, um, like grade school, preschool type memory books that they did in school. Mini albums. Albums from when I was a child, my high school graduation, my high school yearbooks, things like that. Um, a slew of bags, wreaths, home decor that I haven't put away right. Not proud of it, you guys, but I'm being honest. Then I have um, a my paper sorter that I rarely use. I hardly ever use paper or pattern paper anymore. That's there. An album. I don't know why that's there, but it is with some layouts that apparently need to go into it. I need to definitely check that out. Up here is um, my rotating little catch-all. It's not, I actually cleaned it out, so there's not really much on it anymore. I do use that. I love a good tumbler and a good coffee cup, so I have those. I have a nice collection of those there. Down here, I have things for my essential oils. My essential oils, some things that I have, um, I currently use, like in my coffee, I use my skinny coconut oil. Um, this I, I don't really use, but it's here. Some protein shakes that are loose, you know, things like that. In this one, I have my tea and also um, more essential oils down there. This one is all of my sports nutrition drinks and things like that. This has all of my screen prints for um, Chalkator. I'm actually going to be going through these and getting rid of all of them. I'm going to be getting rid of all my Chalkator stuff. This has home decor things that I am um, that I'm working on and uh, that I, I replace throughout the year and some things that I need to alter. Same thing down here. Um, this is a game that we have in the bathroom. I know. Gross. We're sick people. I know. We play basketball as we're sitting on the pooper. Yep. All right. So let me go and take a last look at my desk so you can kind of see what's at my fingertips here. All right. So this is my desk. This is basically where I use. It's what I grab for the majority of the time. Planner, blocks, you know, uh, idea books, um, things like that. Business cards, pins, scissors, most commonly used paint things. Uh, these are the most commonly used pins for writing, Copic, alcohol markers, things like that. Over here I have my Bible, um, my computer, and then here is some files and things like that. I keep my, I'm not going to open that too much because there is some personal information in there. I keep um, my stamps in there. I did recently clean this out. These are all things that I pull from a lot of the time. And then this right here, I actually get into quite a bit. Hodgepodge of craft um, heating tool, an embossing tool, a thing to clean my stamps with, all of my black ink. My distress ink is over here. Uh, it's just a mess and I understand that. So this is my craft room, you guys. As you can see, I, I really try to work with what I have. I like to repurpose things. It's hard for me to throw away a cute box or something I think is cute. So I throw things in it and use it as storage. Um, and this is kind of how I've worked it. It does change a lot. It's not ever perfect. It's always evolving because who, what companies I'm working for is evolving and changes. So if I get a contract with a company, I need to make sure I have a place to put that. Um, and so to help move things through my craft room, I have gone ahead and started a D-Stash group in, on Facebook, which is basically a virtual craft garage sale where I sell off old things that I no longer have room for. And it's not because there's anything wrong with them. It's just, I need my real estate. And I know it doesn't look like it, but I cannot stand working in an environment that's super cluttered and not organized. And I know that this doesn't, this looks like this is a lot of stuff, 
and so with that being said, I also like to keep it out so I can see and use it because if it's out of sight, it's out of mind for me. So um, I have to see it to use it. All right. I certainly hope that you enjoyed this little walkthrough of my craft room. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, and if you want any links to anything you see in my craft room, let me know. I will try to provide them with you. I'll try to provide you with the favorite places that, that I have gotten things from. However, I prefer to spend money on craft supplies and tools, not so much organization. That big unit is, I love it. It's one of my favorite things. It's from American Family or American Furniture Warehouse. You know, I don't even know if they have it. I think I got it on clearance. You know, so I don't try to bust the bank trying to organize and make my craft room look pretty. It's constantly evolving, it's constantly changing, and I really get a lot of enjoyment out of using what I have on hand to make things work. All right. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I certainly hope that you consider doing so. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and I would love it if you guys shared. Until next time, I'm Bets Golden. Happy crafting.